folks, we've reached, well, this is the Ludwig Mill, and this is called the Witch's Circle. And it looks like somebody took a bunch of shotgun shells, there's shotgun shells everywhere, and they shot it, most of it up. Uh, Sack, I think, or one of the pharaohs, and somebody ruined it. They defaced it, and it was perfectly beautiful artwork. But you come over here, and you can see all the old carpenter nails. This is all in Egyptian writing. Someone would have to have really good skill or know their symbols because these are all symbols found in a pyramid. All of them, almost. The onks, the goddesses, the, the birds, the eye of Ra. Ra, excuse me, not Ra. <laughs> but uh, I'll show you. I mean, this one's in really good shape here. Some people believe that these were ancient aliens. Their skulls were much, some of them had larger skulls than the average human and did not fully seem human, more like partially human. But you can see more of the foundations down here and all that. So it's it's definitely a mine worth exploring. There seems to be a building or a basement you can go down over here. So we definitely want to check out every aspect. We don't want to miss anything. But you can see there's a lot more of the mill here. This had a 1600 foot tram and a 600 foot ore drop. Mount Siegel is about 9,451 feet. Uh, the buys and fire had burned most of the forest you see from Mount Siegel all the way for 30 something miles. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, as I was saying, this has a 100-ton smelter. A lot of copper was mined, some gold. Uh, most of the mines were shut down because someone had died. The Nevada Douglas Company bought the mines in 1907. The town began in the 1860s. Started for a couple of years. They couldn't smelt it, so they wait. You know, like I said, it, it laid abandoned for a good amount of years. In 1911, the camp... Also was part of the Nevada Copper Belt Railroad, which ran from Hudson, where we were just at, to here. And then it brought it to other sites like Nordyke and Wilson and Mason. And swing through Wilson Canyon, head north to Hudson, a place called a Colony. And uh, Urington and Wabuska and Weed Heights. It, it just basically went in one giant circle. And then there was a branch off. And the branch off led to believe it or not, a passenger train that took you up to Bodie. And we've done Bodie, so it's important we include a hot link to Bodie on our website when we add this. For many years, everything stayed abandoned. As you can see, in 1941, they reorganized the Nevada Copper Belt Railway Company. In 1942, nine miles of track from Hudson to Ludwig and two and a half miles from Wabuska to Thompson were removed. We've been to Thompson. Wabuska, there's really nothing remaining. The station's in Carson City. And this was a thriving place. This place had a gypsum plant, um, residences, offices, a schoolhouse, social hall, commercial houses, probably saloons. They had electricity for the mines. About a thousand people lived here. They worked here. They ran businesses. And around 1914 is when it boomed. The gypsum in the 1940s was also mined. There's a lot of buildings here. You got to find them. They also had a modernized sewer system and water, as you can see pipes around. A man had died here in one of the mines, so therefore they had closed it off. He was found dead, fell down over a 100 foot shaft, and actually 80 feet down, I believe. So they're really, they're really uptight about letting people back here after his death. Up until the last year, you were able to go up here, and then they said enough's enough. This was a booming camp. This, this had businesses and houses. All this plotted area you see out in front of us, probably all the way out there were homes. And then people came up along the Sandusky Mountain Ranges to be employed at the gypsum plant, and at, at, the, at the copper mill, and the smelter, and the foundry, where they made their own metal rails for the... Ludwig mine, which probably goes for miles, you know. An amazing mine, an amazing mill. It's like being in an ancient city. I don't know why they call this the Witch's Circle. It's hard to say. I don't know if it's because people come and do rituals or if this has some symbolic meaning. Obviously, somebody put a lot of work into this. I would say it's not fresh. 
you can tell it's the paint's very uh, weathered, but I mean it is it is very amazing to see this site. Wow. This is Lord Rick and Ludwig.